listening to you, dear listeners, you enthusiasts of the eccentric, friends of the freakish and zealots of the bizarre. Tonight, I take you to a remote region off the coast of Brazil. Here we meet with our story's protagonists, two lowly teenage California surfers, accustomed only to life's most exuberant comforts. To all of you curious cats of the occult out there in Radio Land, I give you sup sup dick. <laughs> We can safely say that the world is totally ours. Fucking radical. A gale force storm brewing for days over the open ocean finally made landfall on the unsuspecting surfers, bringing with it violent and chaotic waves. Oh no! Gigantic! They're totally killing these people! Yeah, man, I don't think it's safe to ride these giants! Oh, man! You're being a Narkill! You know damn well that this is something we have to do! Dude, but you wanna go home, don't you? To Sally? 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 Taz? I really don't think you should go. Like, if you live, then, number one, like, I won't be really proud of you, and, like, I won't really want to date you anymore. And, like, anyway, like, Timmy told Molly at the mall, and, like, Molly told Bernice, and, like, Bernice isn't really my friend, but I mostly believe everything she says. Like, that one time that she told me not to buy the bikini, I totally believed her. And, like, anyway, you're not being very sensitive to, like, the global needs. Like, you should try to surf locally and not, like, so globally, because riding your boat through, like, somebody else's wave is really offensive. Like, what if, like, you were, like, walking down the beach one day, and, like, anyway, it doesn't really matter, like, about that. It just matters that, like, you're irrespecting the, like, needs of, like, people. Oh. And, like, other people. Hey. You can do what you want, dude. I'm gonna ride that sucker to heaven. And so the young imbecile swam docilely into the highly hazardous and violent waters. Idiot. All right, Chaz, my man, you can do this. You just gotta keep your cool! <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, oh yeah, just gotta keep your eye on the monster, damn it. Yeah, Chaz, you're gonna tame that wet bitch good. You know why? It's her suave fucking guy. Oh, baby, here she comes. She's a big sucker. We got this smart man. Ride her to the moon. And like a wild athlete, Chaz proudly rode the giant with great skill and grace. It was a wave of gargantuan proportions, and Chaz tamed it like a lord of nature, master of the sea. Holy shit! But the wave hadn't even reached its peak. As it gained momentum, the trajectory took a turn to the west, right towards the vast open sea. I'm flying higher than all 
the history surfer bozos. This is the most radical time of my whole life. I hope this wave doesn't kill me. That'd be lame. Flying upwards to 100 feet in the air, Chaz kept his cool as he began his aimless voyage into the ocean, perhaps towards his demise. Stay tuned to find out what becomes of this young, tawdry champion of the surf on the next episode of Surf's Up!